Hi boys and girls, it's science time and we're still learning about air. So today our lesson is called pushing air. The only supplies that you will need for this lesson is your paper from your science baggie. It's in the plastic bag and it says pushing on air. You'll need this paper and a pencil. The other supplies I will be showing you. So go get these supplies and come back to me. All right, here we go. So we're gonna learn about pushing on air today. So let's look at our PowerPoint here. Pushing on air. Today we're gonna use a syringe and a tube to find out about air. Now some of you might be like, ah, a shot. Nope, look, there's no needle. <laughs> there's no shot. It's just the plastic part. So we'll be pushing air through the syringe and through the tube today. So notice these words, syringe and tube is what I'll be using today when I show this to you. It says crimp the tube, crimp. Look at the picture, what do you think crimp means? If you said like fold it over and pinch it shut, you're right, that's what crimp means. So today I'm gonna be showing you that. We're gonna figure out what happens when I crimp the tube. What happens if you try to push the plunger, this part is called the plunger, down, or pull the plunger out with a crimped tube? Let's find out. So here, boys and girls, I have a syringe with a tube on the end. Notice no needle, just the plastic part, and a tube. But I also have a clip that I can crimp it with. But watch what happens, first of all. So I'm going to push and what goes through the tube? I'm gonna pull and what goes through the tube? It's air. So right now it's sucking in air. When I pull this plunger, it's sucking air through this tube. When I push it, it's blowing air on me. So it's pushing the air back out through the tube. So what happens if I crimp it and pinch it? I'm gonna try to pull it. Will it be able to pull air in? Let's find out. I'm pulling it, I'm pulling it. And notice how the plunger kind of wanted to go back a little bit. So it pulls some air in, but I have to pull pretty hard. Let's try to push the air out and see what happens. So it's coming out, but I can barely feel it. It's coming out a lot slower. Now, why would it be slower than before? If you said because it's pinched, you're right. When something's pinched, the air can't go through as, as fast or as quickly. Let's look back at our slides and see what's next. What happens when air is pushed into a smaller space? So with our syringe and our tube, which one's bigger? If you said the syringe, you're right. Which one's smaller? If you said the tube, you're right. So when we're pushing the air through, through the tube, we're pushing it into a smaller space. And so it takes a little bit of force. It's a little bit hard to push that. Now, it says work with a partner to use two syringes to find out about air. So I'm gonna be working with David. David, would you come help me please? Yep. All right, and David and I, are going to move ahead on the slides here. And we are gonna do something called air wrestling. It says the amount of air in the system does not change. So we're still gonna have air in here, but we're gonna see what happens with it. We're gonna do some air wrestling. So David's putting it together. Now look at David's syringe. Which syringe has air in it? Look, mine doesn't have any air in it because the plunger is pushed all the way in. I can't push it anymore. But David's is full of air. So what will happen when David pushes his plunger? What will happen to my syringe? Let's find out. Where did the air go? It went through the tube and into my syringe. Now watch when I push my plunger, where will the air go? 
Oh, I have to push harder. It goes into David's syringe. Now, what if you push it halfway, David? So now we both have some air in our syringe. Let's see what happens if we both push at the same time. That would be air wrestling. Where will the air go? Oh, who's winning? <laughs> David is pushing harder and the air is pushing all over to my syringe. Let's see if we can get his plunger to push out quickly. Ready? I'm going to push quickly on the count of three and watch his plunger and see what happens. One, two, three. Now you can push mine quickly, okay? Count to three first. One, two, three. So if we push more quickly, the air moves faster through the syringes. So here, back on our slides, it says no air can get in or out of the system. So the air stays inside the syringes in the tube. The air gets pushed into a smaller space. Remember, that was the tube. What causes the plunger to move back out? So when the plunger moved back out, why did that happen? Let's watch again. Why did it move back out? Watch David's syringe. His plunger is going to move out. Let's see why. Because where is the air coming from? So the air was being pushed by my plunger through my syringe, then through the tube, and then into David's syringe. The air is pushing the plunger out. Now the air is pushing my plunger out. When all the air is pushed into one of the syringes, it is compressed. When something is compressed, it means it's squished together really tightly. Okay, so the air is being pushed together in there. That's why it's harder to press that plunger. Compressed air pushes back with pressure. Pressure means force. It means it takes some energy. It takes some muscle to push it. The air pressure pushes the plunger back out when you release it. That means when you let it go. What will happen if the pressure in the system is increased by pushing one of the plungers in? Okay, so we're gonna try again. And this time, we're gonna see, can you unhook the tube, please? So we're going to put a bunch of air in our syringes first, and then we're going to put it back together. And I'm gonna see if David can pop mine out. Let's watch. No, it didn't work. I wonder why it didn't work. Hmm. Do you think maybe we have too much air in our system? Let's try and see if... Well, I think David thinks there's a leak. Let's see. <laughs> he figured it out. There was a leak. The air was escaping. So when we fill them both with air and he pushes with force, with pressure, it popped my plunger right out. I don't know if that surprised you, but it surprised me. Pushing in one plunger compresses the air in the system. This creates pressure and forces the other plunger out of the barrel just like we just saw there. Now what you're gonna do, boys and girls, is you're gonna take your piece of paper. And on your paper, it has the question, what happens when air is pushed into a smaller space? So what happened? Here's a picture of one syringe with the tube crimped. So when it's folded, what happened? So I need you to think about what happened when we tried to push it. Was it fast? Was it slow? What was happening there? If you don't remember, you can go back and watch that part of the video again to find out. Then down here, it's the air wrestling. Down here, I want you to see how David and I both had our syringes. And when he pushed on this one fast, what happened to the plunger? 
Where did the air go? I want to see some arrows on here. Remember what an arrow looks like? An arrow is when you draw a line and then you make the end point where you want it to go. That would be an arrow that way. This would be an arrow the other way. You decide. But on this side, I want to see where is the air going? If David's pushing here, the air is going this way. What happens to it? Does it keep going that way? If you're not sure, watch the video again. And I want you to write one sentence about something you learned about air today. Okay? All right. Thanks for joining me for science. See you next time.